Hey guys, I'm Jeff Shaw from Triangle Jiu-Jitsu and Team Hoist Gracie and the Cage Die Concussion Cast. I'm here with my co-host Trevor Hayes and today we're going to show you a basic technique that's good for sport jiu-jitsu, for self-defense and for mixed martial arts. We had CJ Murdoch on the show, a great fighter, great jiu-jitsu black belt. He told us his favorite techniques. Among those was the triangle from closed guard. Now if I'm on my back in the guard where I use my legs to defend myself from an opponent that's on top of me, I need to be conscious of several things. I need to be conscious specifically of not getting punched in the face. So if I'm on my back, and Trevor's in my guard, first of all, I always wanna have my guard closed if I can. It's a way that I can control Trevor's posture. If my legs are open, I can't control his posture, he can attack me much more effectively and I can't break him down. Whereas if my legs are closed, then I can pull Trevor, I can, I can keep him a little bit controlled. Now, this is how we first get to what CJ called the Valle Tudo guard. Valley Tudo fighting was no rules fighting developed in Brazil. Now obviously if there's no rules, you don't want Trevor to be able to use his hands to hurt you, to strike you. So what we're gonna do first is break his posture. I'm gonna open his elbows out like a door and pull with my legs. I break him down. Now CJ likes to get double overhooks here. There's also an overhook on the far side and head control. Either way, it's gonna limit his ability to strike you. If Trevor's postured up and he tries to strike me, I'm in a lot of trouble, even if I'm defending myself. That's gonna be a lot of gravity, a lot of force on his side. I don't wanna deal with that. So I wanna take away his ability to knock me out. First, I do that by breaking his posture down. Once I get his posture broken down, now as you can see, I'm controlling Trevor's right arm with my left overhook, which I keep nice and tight, and I'm controlling his head so he can't posture up. At this point, his left hand is free, right? So he can hit me, but he can hit me very lightly here, or he can hit me in the ribs. Also, when he does that, he puts himself at risk of what CJ likes to decide as his favorite attack, which is the triangle. Now, simple rule for jiu-jitsu as well as fighting, you always want either two arms in the guard or two arms out of the guard. If you have one arm in the guard and one arm out, then you're at risk for the triangle. So when Trevor tries to hit me, I'm gonna catch behind his elbow and bring my knee in. At this point, not only can he not hit me, you know, a little pitter-pat punch on my elbow, Ow, ow, my elbow, at least I'm not going to get knocked out. Then it also allows me to shoot the triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm either going to slide to the wrist, or if you're a little flexible guy like me, you can use your yoga legs to do this. But normal humans can slide to the wrist, push, shoot my legs up, and lock my triangle. Let's do that one more time. So again, I break Trevor down. Either I got his head in his arm, or I have two arms. Either way, he's going to try to squirm his arm out. When he does that, I catch. Notice how I've trapped one arm in, and I'm just about to lock one arm in and one arm out. Slide to the wrist, either throw it or row it. I kick one leg up over. This leg is gonna be my choking leg. The triangle works because I cut off his carotid artery on one side with my own leg, and on the other side with his shoulder. So to finish the triangle, I'm gonna hip up, pass his arm to one side. At this point, this leg is gonna cut off the one carotid, his own shoulder is bumping up against his other carotid. To prevent him from posturing up, I'm gonna control his head, grab my own shin. From here, I'm gonna adjust, step on his hip, turn, reclose the triangle. At this point, I'm gonna angle just a little bit and flex my legs, and Trevor taps. So that's our basic triangle from closed guard. It's useful for sport jujitsu for a finish, and if you ever get in an MMA fight or a street confrontation, you don't want the guy punching you, that's how you break his posture down and make him pay for trying to punch you with, a, with an attack to finish the fight. Listen to the Cage Hide Concussion Cast every Sunday at 10 a.m. on whupfm.org. I want to thank Trevor. My eyes itch. <laughs> I want to thank CJ Murdoch for citing that favorite technique. Check us out every Sunday, guys. Thanks.